All right, Shalom. Uh, this is GMS in the Spirit, new channel with, for the Man Up Jacob uh, camp. And I'm Brother Akal Ahmad. Darrell. Yatazak. Yatazak. Boss Apart. And uh, before we get started, I want to give all praise and honor to the Most High the Son, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and honors to your camps out there, your brothers in the GMS family that are preaching the word. And today, you know, as the title of the uh, the name of the channel, In the Spirit, GMS in the Spirit, we're going to go in the spirit, kind of do an open forum, getting that Esau a little bit, getting that Jake as well. But uh, we're going over topics before we started, because we planned to do a sit down. And so we're going over all the topics that we had. And the brother Bonsa Pod had a, uh, a quote by Theodore Roosevelt, a quote I've never seen before. But when he read it, I was like, well, wow, that changes the game up immediately. Because we had a set, you know, scriptures, we had a notes and everything we are going to go into. And then he brought that quote out, and we were all like, oh, well, we're going to have to go in on that. I, I, it hit me, hit all the brothers, hit this brother, hit all these brothers. So basically, we're going to read this quote from Theodore Roosevelt, and then we're going to get to the scriptures and, you know, get on Esau, curse you niggas out, two thirds of you niggas out. And uh, go ahead. Well, uh, this is uh, off of a uh, Brady quote, and uh, Theodore Roosevelt, uh, one of these beloved presidents that you do keep on finding reasons to kiss their ass. Yeah. This is a quote out of his mouth, yeah. so-called white man. Yeah. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. A thorough, no, a thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. The same knowledge that the elders possess and that they're putting out there for all us to learn from. And condemning these damn co you niggas are so worried about going to college and getting a degree, wasting all your money, getting a, a bachelor's or an associate's or a master's or a, a doc a, a, a PhD, a doctorate from college, you're coming out in debt. And even if you go to 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 when you go to college, you come out, the job you plan on getting. Having gone all that college, it's gone. It ain't even there no more. But here this is, you niggas like to listen to everything a white man says anyway. So here it is a great white man, so-called white man, saying that a thorough knowledge of this book, the Bible, is worth more than a college uh, degree, a college education. In fact, before we go to that first scripture, somebody get Romans 11 and 33. This is straight out of the so-called white man's mouth. He knows it. Why don't you niggas know it? He knows the power of the Bible. He knows what this book is worth. Alright? And for him to make a statement like that out of his mouth, he must know he he the, the higher ups, because he's just a puppet. He's slow on a total pope. Right. So if he would make a statement like that, what makes you think that the higher ups don't know more than him? The elite. That up there actually that that throughout history have tried to destroy this book. Or to keep us from getting our hands on it and learning from it. That made it illegal for slaves back during the time of slavery for so-called Negroes to actually read this book. You would be uh, 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 punished, right, if you were caught reading, but if you were caught reading the Bible, you'd be put to death. Right. Mm -hmm. So here this man is making a statement saying how the worth of this book, but you niggas don't want to take heed. The elders have been out there 25, 30, hell, and this is talking about Elder Tahar, Gabal, Ramla. That, and, and, and I'm not even including the, the elders of our elders. Elders like uh, Abba Bivens, all right, Arya, Masha, elders that have been out there going way, way back, right. 30, 40, 50 years back, that have been teaching out of this book. Y Elder Yaqua, who was out there, there's a video of him on YouTube, he's out there teaching, he's what, 70 something years old, I believe? Mm -hmm. So this is the same book that they've been, that, that they've been preaching and you niggas don't want to, to, to take heed. But if a so-called white man says, now see, since we just brought this quote out, yeah. it's going to be niggas all over the world that, 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 that take heed and hearken to this so-called white man. Yep. He said that, <laughs> I'm going to read it again, mm -hmm. a thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. Mm. Niggas finna start dropping out of school. They finna start <laughs> dropping out of these seminaries. Uh, they finna start dropping out of all these educational places God. that say, and they gonna start starting to get into these scriptures. Yep. But the thing is, it's gonna be too late. That's right. Cause you pass by brothers on these street corners. 
You pass by the elders on the street corners, whether it's from Abba all the way down to the newest camps that's just now sprouting up all over the place. You're not taking heed to them, but you're going to take heed to this white man. Yep. Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey said that back a while back that the true knowledge would be coming on the street corners. Right. And yeah. here it is and that, today. And the scriptures tell you to go out to the highways yeah. and the hedges. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I got that uh, in uh, uh, Romans 11 for you. Yeah, 11 and 33. Yeah, Romans 11 and 33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Oh, the depth and the riches, the depth and the riches of the knowledge of the Most High. How, where is the knowledge of the Most High? In the Bible, right? It says that his son, who's the word of the Most High, comes in the volume of the book according, according to Psalms 40, verse 7, in right. Hebrews 10 and 7. So this book is riches and is knowledge and is deep. It's, it's, a, a, it's simple, but it's deep. Like it says in uh, 1 Corinthians 11, I believe, oh, the, the, the simplicity in Yahweh Shai. So this book is deep and is riches. That's why in Revelation what is it? The uh, second chapter, the ninth verse. It said, uh, "I know that thou art uh, po uh, rich, that, but thou art rich." He said, "I know that poverty, but thou art rich." Right. Because according to the curses and according to Haggai, with the first chapter, we all broke. According to this society, in terms of money, we don't got nothing. Brothers are struggling day to day, week to week, but we got we're rich. Why? Because we have the knowledge and the depth of the knowledge. Of the riches of this Bible. But you niggas are so damn worried about going to college, getting a degree, getting into a damn uh, uh, fraternity, get, with them, them stepping clubs, and niggas be dancing all over the yeah, goddamn Greek place. Shows yeah, that, shit. that Greek shit, which proves that was our people back then. Right. Getting all, getting Hellenized all over again. <laughs> and this so called white man. I'm going to read it again. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more. Than a college education. So, getting this book down is worth more than going to ten, college for 10 years. And your masters, your PhD, your, all those different degrees yeah, yep. pale in comparison to the scriptures. Yep. They have nothing on the Bible. Everything that they teach you in these colleges, hey, I went to college. Yeah, yeah. I didn't learn shit there. You know what I'm saying? I learned more in my three or four years in this truth than I learned it from pre-K through 12th grade through college. That's what, that's fucking 15 years right there. Yeah. I learned more in my three or four years in the truth in my whole, than, than I learned in my whole life. Man, I'm 32 years old, man. It's a lot of stuff you can, just imagine, if I was 32 years old and I was born in the truth, you know what I'm saying? Right. I would be a lot better off than being a 32 year old coon. Yeah. yeah in, in college. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read it again. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is more important, is worth more than a college education. Yep. To hell with SMU and Harvard and Yale and all them different schools. Fuck them. Yeah. Them schools going to get your ass burnt to a crisp. That's right. Right. You're either getting this, your only options right now are to get beamed up or burnt up. That's right. Period, point blank. It says, uh, back, we'll get to it now. Isaiah 34, it's, no, Isaiah 33, 33. 6. In fact, get that, uh, not this up. I, I got Ezekiel for you too. Come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, yeah, hold Ezekiel too. Get Isaiah 33 and 6, I believe. The wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. Because, you know, niggas always get, they got the, the degree uh, plaque up on the wall. You know, they got the masters, of it, this and that. Whatever the hell they majored in college, they got that up on the wall. If you got, if you even fucking have one. And, cap and gown. yeah, yeah, the cap and gown, you got it saved and framed up and all that. But what's that going to get you when martial law breaks up? When, when all this legislation that they're putting into play this year, and that they're going to continue to put into play to further come against the people here in this country. When that starts getting enacted, when this devil, the so-called white man, shows his horn, what's that going to do for you? 
What are you gonna do? They're gonna come kicking your door, you're gonna hold up your your your, your plaque. Now look, I got a college degree. They're gonna shoot you and that damn degree. Right? In front of your family. That's right. So it ain't gonna matter. This is what's gonna get you stable. This right. the knowledge of this right. is what's gonna keep you stable in those times. Go ahead, uh Dr. Zell. Okay, we got Isaiah thirty three and six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So when all hell breaks loose, like we always talk about, this is going to keep you stable, like I just said. This is going to keep, it's going to keep you from bugging out, all right? Because they're going to, believe you me, we're going to see some things that are going to have us shook, all right? The elders are saying that this, this past weekend. We're going to see some shit that's going to have us like, whoa. But guess what? If, if you're of the elect, and if you're the one that's meant to retain the knowledge of this Bible, guess what you're going to go right back to? The Bible. Oh, wait a minute. Like, then I'm quoting the elder. Oh, that was meant to happen. Right. It was prophesied that we was going to see people eating their kids. Yeah. It was prophesied that we was going to see martial law and people getting shot dead in the street. Yep. So when you see that, it's just like the whole thing what they did with, uh, when they do uh, with, with, with the so-called white man. When he does certain shit, it's to condition the people. To be okay with what's going on. Yeah. This Bible conditions the elect to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when you see a bitch chewing on her son's kneecaps, he, yep, yep, yep. Or when you see a father eating his daughter's elbows, you gonna understand from this. Yeah. Right. Scriptures say, "Blessed is he that readeth." You can read in Kings about your parents eating their kids. Mm -hmm. You can read in Second Ezra's about martial law. You can read in all through the scriptures about people going through hella hard times through the scriptures. You read about that. The scriptures say that this was put together for our learning. Yeah, written for time, written for our learning. Somebody get that if you know where it is. Somebody get that, gotcha. you, please. Gotcha. 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 You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So for the scriptures, the scriptures condition us to be okay when that time comes. Just like the elder said, yeah, you might see something that you had never seen before, but it's going to take you right back to the scriptures. Because mm -hmm. you read that. You read that all hell was going to break loose. You read that millions of people was going to die. You read about people melting. Mm -hmm. Daniel, <laughs> when Daniel saw the vision, he got sick. Got sick, yep. So he was shook. Like, ooh. Ezra's too. You know? Daniel and Ezra are here today, whether you believe it or not. Yep. We don't know who they are, but they all walk in the planet, more than likely. That's right. Read that. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. This was written aforetime, so we can know that people are going to be eating their damn kids. That's what it was written for. And blessed is he that reads that? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> you can't get no more plain than that. It's all in this book, man. Mm -hmm. We know everything that we need to know as far as the scriptures go. It's certain things that's not in the scriptures, but that's not important. Right. We got the blueprint to get the hell out of this shithole, man. Right. Period, point blank. Everything you need to know to get out of here on a chariot is in this book. Yep. I'm gonna read it again. I was just about to say that's <laughs> a thorough now. a thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. How many people are in college right now? You got this whole March Madness thing going on right now. You got all these different colleges, all these different schools, all these different organizations that's not teaching nobody nothing. I, I live in a city of possibly the biggest university in the country, the University of Texas, right. Austin. Everybody's a go. When I graduated high school, everybody, I'm going to go to UT or I'm going to UTSA. Or, you know, I don't want to go to college. I want to go to college. That's where all the big foot. You see a lot of the big football players in the league. You know, you have Ricky Williams. You got a lot. Of, you got a lot of basketball players that come down down there too. You got uh, Cedric Benson. I used to watch, watch yeah. a lot of football, so I know. <laughs> Vince Young, you got a lot of big players that come from down there. So that's a big college city down there. Right. Everybody is talking about getting out, and I, and I live five minutes from that bitch. If I go down there, you see all white girls and nigga, niggas, especially walking around fast trying to get to their class and shit, on the bus sweating and all that, just to get get to class to learn nothing but a bunch of bullshit. Right. 
you know? But this Bible is worth more than all that. Because the, your college degree is nothing. You ain't take, you, you're not taking this away from America. You got something? Yeah. I know you got something. Talking about college education. This is uh, Jake. Got dreams of being somebody. This is uh, Ezekiel 20 and 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. That, that ye say, we shall be as the heathen, as the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. Yeah. The, go ahead. Go ahead. No, what are you going to say? The heathens would like to go to college, to get an uh, education in college. So our people got the mindset of want to be like, I want to go to college, get a good yeah, education, yeah. get a degree okay. to get a good job. That's what the heathens do, man. The, yep. Dreams of being somebody and shit. Yep. We, the, uh, we're supposed to be into this Bible. Because right. in Hebrews, what is it, the 10th chapter, it says that, I believe it's the 10th chapter, it says that here we have no continuous city. So what the hell is the point of going into college when all this shit's going to be burnt up anyway? Because you got that in uh, Corinthians? Hey, go ahead and read it. First Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 19. Now it's only verse 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Yeah, what is it to be wise? What's one of the ways to be wise in this world? Going to college, uh, uh, getting your degree, or, or admiring one of these so-called college professors, then, and then they don't know shit. In fact, yes, uh, I don't know y'all. you seen the, the second was it? Yeah, the second Transformers. When he's the the uh, Shia LaBeouf is in the classroom and that asshole professor's up there, he chew, he chews on an apple then he drops it, and then he uh, the, the the little white girl picks it up and he's like, yeah, finish that for me, and he's making this big stupid ass speech. That's what the damn college professors do. They just up there making a show, right. you know? Isn't they don't they don't they, they 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 get paid to teach people what to think, as opposed to to, to teaching you how to think. Right. Which is what the elder brother always puts on us in our camp. Teaching teaching us how to think, not what to think. That's what you go through all the school being taught. What exactly to think. That's why you always get taught the same shit every goddamn year at some point. Especially in grade school. Verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. The right. wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. It's like this brother always says... Hey, that that the wisdom of this the wisdom of this world is gonna get you killed. It's not gonna it's not gonna get you on no chariot. Guess what? We're right here trying to get this book down pat to the best of our ability. It's not even guaranteed that we're gonna make it on the chariot. So if you're trying to get a goddamn college education, you damn sure ain't gonna make it. You, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read it again. Go ahead. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt, a thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. And that's a cut to all you assholes out there trying to come against the Bible. Saying, ah, it's just a fairy tale book. It's all, it's a story, it's all bullshit. Why would somebody make that statement? And that's also directed at you assholes that want to come up and say you got a PhD. Yeah, yeah. I got a PhD, I got a master's, I got a bachelor's degree, I got this, I got that. And you steadily getting sliced and diced by all the brothers all over the world that's telling you that you don't know a damn thing. Yep, that's right. Because you don't. That's right. You can PhD all you goddamn want to. If you don't know what's in this book, how many people you know with a PhD that's gonna flip the fuck out and have a heart attack when they see a, 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 a father eat his son? Because it ain't nothing else to eat. Right, right. That's I'm gonna read it again. A thorough knowledge of the Bible it's worth more than a college education. So the hell with your PhD or your master's or your bachelor's or whatever you got. Yep. You got people with master's degrees that's working at Burger King. Yeah, yeah, yep. That knowledge ain't doing nothing for you because the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Mm hmm So get out of here with that, man. You either learn this Bible or get burnt up. You can either get beamed up or burnt up. And the blueprint to get beamed up is right here. Yep. Not no goddamn SMU. That's right. It's not at Harvard. It's not at Yale. It's not at Stanford. Yep. All these colleges that these niggas is breaking their necks and backs to get into. Retaking their SATs four or five times and shit. It's not thorough. I'm going to read it again. <laughs> A thorough knowledge of the Bible 
is worth more than a college education. Right. So fuck your professor.